Hi everyone, it's Sandra, your friendly travel advisor with SeymourVacations.com, and today I'm going to bring you another tip. Today's tip has to do with internet packages on your cruise vacation. Now, you could choose to not get an internet package. I did that for years before I ever became a travel advisor because for me, I just wanted to enjoy my vacation. I did not want to be constantly on my phone, and so I just wanted to be able to actually get away from everything. But I understand this day and time, people want it for social media, people want it for work, they've gotta check e emails, they wanna text and share with people back home. So to do that, you are going to need an internet package. Now your choices are either buy them from your carrier an international package, for that time or you can buy an internet package from the cruise line if you don't already get that as some type of perk because some cruise lines will give you that as a perk sometimes so check with your travel advisor on that and so if let's talk about if you get it from your your provider, your, your provider for your phone. That's really going to depend. You're going to have to look at apples to apples, truly. You're gonna look at which internet package by logging into the cruise line's website, and then you're going to look up for um, internet packages, and they'll have several different types usually. So look at what that entails, and then contact your phone carrier and ask them what it would cost. Tell them you're going on a cruise and you're going to be cruising internet Nationally, tell them where you're going and then ask them how much would a cruise um, would a international phone um, package cost with them and then you compare those apples to apples to know which one that you actually are going to use now a tip here no matter which one you you are using you need to remember something you want to log in when you're ready to use it completely log out of it when you're ready to get out of it i can tell you from experience that i bought an internet package on a cruise line this past year and bought it as we were sailing off into the sunset and thought i had turned it off but evidently i didn't double check that i turned it off because i didn't actually turn it off and I wake up the next morning when I want to post again and all of my data had been used up. So that really sucked. So I didn't buy any more internet package for the rest of that cruise and I just took a lot of pictures and videos and dealt with it once I got back um, from my trip. So word to the wise, make sure you turn it on. You wanna log in and you wanna log out each and every time and then double check. My hubby actually hands me the phone. He was so glad I did it and wasn't me because usually you can even share that on different phones. You just have to log in and log out. And he always hands me his phone and says, double check that I logged out because he doesn't wanna be the one to do what I did. So um, just make sure that you, you double check that. Same thing with if it's an international package on your phone, make sure you're logging in and you're logging out. I can also give you another little tip. Um, my husband, we did that on the last cruise we went on. First time we ever bought the internet package through our phone carrier, which happens to be um, AT&T. And um, evidently when we came back for several weeks, hubby was having trouble with his phone, I kept saying, go to the store, he wouldn't go. Finally, he, we go down there and the guy goes, oh, you, you had gone over your ex excessive data while you were there and, um, and it was trying to just cut your data down while you were back. So he fixed it, it was a very quick fix. But if you do have trouble like that, just go down to your phone carrier and tell them, hey, I just got back on a cruise, I had this package, can you double check and make sure I have everything right on that? And that's what we did and they helped us out with that. So we got problem solved. So you're either gonna buy that internet package, um, that international internet package from your phone carrier or from the cruise line, and then you want to make sure that you log out each and every time that you use it. Um, and then you also, another tip that you're gonna to want to know is as soon as 
you were starting to sail away into the sunset um, within so much reason, um, you're going to want to go to the settings on your phone and you're going to want to change it to airplane mode. Yes, I know you're not on an airplane, my grandson said, but we're not on an airplane, Gigi. I understand we're on a cruise ship, but you want to move it to airplane mode. Now, if you don't know, on airplane mode, you can still use your phone as a camera and a video camera. So it will take pictures, it will take videos. You just can't make any texts or get on social media or anything like that. And what it does is protects you from actually going over excessive amount of data and having this gigantic bill. And yes, of course, I have a story about that as well. Years ago, my um, son, who's now married with children, was sailing with some friends and he did not go to airplane mode. We get, he gets home, we get a bill for his phone alone was over $700. Yes, $700 plus all of the other phones that I have on there because I have four children and um, hubby and I's phone. And so that phone bill was insane. I'm like, I could have made several car payments for the amount of that bill. So make sure if you don't do anything else, whether you are getting on the internet or not, you need to move your phone in your settings to airplane mode. That is vitally important. So you do not want to forget that. You can take your pictures and your videos, just be on that airplane mode. Another tip I want to tell you is find out when you're in a port what places offer free Wi-Fi. So you can choose to not get an internet package and then you can take all your videos and, and your pictures and then when you go into port, you can find out where there's free Wi-Fi going on and so they'll have signs sometimes posted. Or a great tip, I like to ask, our room steward, our cabin steward, where do they go to get free Wi-Fi in this port? Because a lot of them get off, just like we do, to shop or, or just to get off the ship. Um, not all of them do, because obviously they're working, but it rotates out of when they get off that ship. So um, ask them. They usually know some places that have free Wi-Fi. And then look for signs as you're out and about. Um, be cautious. Always be cautious when you're traveling. Be knowing of your surroundings. If it looks kind of sketchy, don't go inside for free Wi-Fi. So obviously, so if you go in, usually it's a place you can get something to eat or drink and they will give you the password. So, you know, support the local economy if you're going to go use their Wi-Fi Get, a, get something to drink, get a snack, get something and, and support them for the graciousness that they're giving you that free Wi-Fi as well. So that's a really great tip if you um, want to just not get an internet package or you have an internet package and you get off the ship and you're logged out of it and then you want to go and, and get that free Wi-Fi. Now, another thing I wanna tell you also is keep in mind that we're all in this vast ocean and everyone on your ship, so let's say that your ship is 4,000 passengers plus 1,700 crew members, and everyone's trying to use the Wi-Fi. So it's not going to be like land Wi-Fi. It is going to be slower. So do not spend all of your time sitting there with this spinning picture and, and, and posting that's not happening. For me, that's, that's eating up valuable time so both from your vacation and from your and your internet plan so just don't worry about it right then try to do it when you're at port or you know it's not going to kill us to wait until we get back to post something so usually i save all of mine into a folder and then on the ride home or the uh, going home or the flight home um, I'm all of a sudden taking that folder and I'm uploading all my pictures to a, like I create an album on Facebook and I upload it to there and I answer all of my emails, texts, and phone calls once I get back into port. So in talking about when to turn on that airplane mode as you're going out, as you're first leaving and you're sailing for your sail away party, yes, it's you're gonna have a little bit of time because there's so much, you know, why we're not in international waters yet. So you can do those final pictures, those final text goodbyes, um, those final posts of see ya, wish you were here, um, you know, posts that you can still do those because you've got to, uh, before you get into international waters just don't wait too long i usually do one final goodbye one final video of sailing off 
and then um, I switch to Wi-Fi right then. Just most important tip out of all of this is two things, switch to Wi-Fi, and if you do have the internet package, no matter how you got the internet package, log in and log out, making sure that you do that. So those are some great tips. Um, for you to know about an internet package. If there's any other questions that you would like me to answer, just put them in the link below. And while you're already looking below, hit that subscribe button if you would, so you can get more tips and tricks from me. And also I do videos of the cruise cabins and the resorts that I stay in, and I do travel a lot. Um, I like to travel on my dime because I like to show everyone what it's truly like. I want to know what it's like to truly be a customer just like you are. And so most of the time when I'm in places, they have no idea that I am a travel advisor or a travel agent. So I don't usually tell them because I don't want any preferential treatment. I wanna see what you would get as a paying customer, just like you are. And then I love to be able to share that information. That's one of the reasons I try, I travel so much. Well, okay. I'm taking one for the team, so <laughs> no, I do love to travel, and that's the whole reason I became a travel advisor, but um, I also, I want to share. People would always ask me, what did you do here at this vacation, or this cruise, or this Disney resort, or, um, and I'm able to share that firsthand experience, because I go and, and experience them firsthand, so any questions, ask me, put them down below. Go to my website, it's linked below, seemorevacations.com. Go there, follow me on all the social media, and say hi to me. I love to get to know you. And if you're looking for a travel advisor, then just go to my website um, and, and send me a message. Or if you're not looking for a travel advisor and you want some freebies, go to my website. I'm not going to spam you. But um, my thing is, if you don't have a travel advisor, get one because you do need to be in the know. Know before you go. That's what I love to say about everything. And a travel advisor is going to help you to know before you go. So that's all for today. Give it us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get some more notifications. And until next time, I am Sandra. I am so glad that you joined me today and come on over to seemorevacations.com. And until next time, bon voyage.